Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Gentlemen, me again. Ah, I missed the cops intro. Today, I want to talk about the funniest VTuber in the world, Tenma Miami, VTubing's greatest comedic genius. No, that's not an opinion, it's a fact. Make sure you not only subscribe to Tenma Miami, but make sure you subscribe to a clipper and video editor, Not Theo. I think that Not Theo is the best clipper and video editor in the entire VTubing sphere. The amount of effort, humor, and editing that goes into every single one of their videos is unrivaled, in my opinion, and they definitely deserve the recognition for it. I particularly like how Not Theo really understands what cultured me Chan enjoyers really want highlighted. I would liken Tenma to Matsumoto Hitoshi from Gaki no Sukai or Downtown, possessing unrivaled comedic timing, incredible quick wit, just effortlessly funny. Without an over reliance on easy sex jokes or politics, she has quite the variety. Probably the best collaboration partner one could ask for. Mi-chan has never had a bad partner, or she has never been a bad partner for group dynamics. To complement her humour, Tenma is absolutely men and psychotic, capable of creating the most horrific screeching chimp noises from such a small and incredibly cute frame. Make no mistake, you piss Tenma off and you will be sorry. But more than her comedy and Brooklyn rage, Tenma is an incredibly cute and sweet Forever 19 office lady who plays the role of big sister for many of the Phase Connect girls and genuinely cares for the well-being of her friends. I know for many people Pippa represents the face of Phase Connect. This is true, she does deserve to be called the face of the company, but I would personally argue that Mi-chan is the true face and powerhouse of the group as I think she captures the all-around spirit of Phase Connect more than Pippa does. I will explain more later. That said, as I always say, I think Phase Connect is incredibly stacked and well-talented. Let's get stuck into part one first. So who is Tenma Miami? Tenma Miami, known affectionately as Mi-chan, is a female English language VTuber for the Face Connect Corporation run by the evil Canadian fish Sakana. Mi-chan is a part of the Old Guard, debuting as part of its first generation on the 28th of June 2021. Mi-chan is special compared to the Face Connect talents I've covered before because she isn't from the United States. She is actually from Canada. What's going on, eh? She is half Canadian, half chimpanzee. Okay, no, this is a joke. She's not Canadian. Part of a running gag with Tenma is to refer to her as a Canadian, as there was a mistake on her fandom wiki page. Since Phase Connect is a Canadian corporation and her YouTube account is located in Canada, she was mistakenly listed as having Canadian nationality on her wiki page. As a result, she is jokingly referred to as the Canadian Chihuahua or even Mrs. Worldwide. Tenma is actually from Osaka and spent a lot of her childhood there. Can I ask, have you lived in Osaka before? Yes, most of the childhood I did. Oh! My family made me travel a lot since youth. Oh, that actually explains a lot of your twisted personality then. Because I heard the... that Osakan people are like, uh. like nuts. They're like unhinged. Ah! Uh. For those of you who don't know, Osaka is a little bit of a meme among central Japanese urbanites. It's kind of viewed in a similar way to how Florida is in the United States, which probably explains so much about Mi-chan's personality. Mi-chan is genuinely an incredibly talented and hard-working person. 
She is multilingual, being able to speak four languages to varying degrees of ability. But what we do know is that she can speak Japanese and English to an at least at a very advanced level. I don't know how good her Japanese is as I don't speak it, but her English isn't exactly too native standard, but it is incredibly good. I have no difficulty in understanding her. If we take a look at this clip here, we can see older Tenma from nearly two years ago. I'm gonna have a collaboration with Google San. Just wait. I'm gonna have a collaboration with Google San. <laughs> Look at the bottle. Motherfucker, you're blind. Look at the bottle. Turn up. <laughs> And now let's take a look at how far Mi-chan has come. I know speak Japanese. You deaf motherfucker. You piece of shit. I'm speaking English. Shit ass looking ass adopted ass. Bitch. Was that English enough to you? Yeehaw cowboy motherfucker. Beep beep. America guns. USA freedom. Was this America enough for you? Cowboy Texas. Yeehaw. Giddy up, cowboy! Huh? What else do you want me to say to, for you to understand me? Huh? That's what I thought. Anyway, I'm gonna change the screen. Is that okay? Thank you. I think it's very impressive that she's been able to become extremely successful in the English language streamer area, despite initially having a mediocre grasp of the language, especially as she isn't from the West and she is Japanese and they have a very different sense of humor than we do, yet she's been able to capture it perfectly. She has come an incredibly long way in the last two years. She says that the movie Die Hard was the first American movie that she took as an example to learn English, which is absolutely an amazing choice. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Even though Face Connect has a Japanese branch, she wanted to immerse herself in our side of the VTubing culture, in order to improve her linguistical skills, which is very brave of her. It shows her determination and skill. Well done, Mi-chan. Mi-chan is of course definitely not mentally ill and schizo. She is every bit the perfect idol who never says anything out of line. She is completely say-so. Because I watched like, your stream one time and you seemed like totally schizo, so I was like, this is gonna work out. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I... No, wait! Arvino san, you need to understand, I am not mentally ill. You actually would probably. Wait, what about. Tell dog. me something racist about this guy. I need to say. I need to say. I need to say something racist about him. That's, give me give me some fuel. I have no idea what to say about him. Yeah, this guy, PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> Mi-chan is a fucking psychopath, and I absolutely love it. I'm not normally one to get parasocial, but sometimes she makes me feel things, man. See, this is one of the things I love about Mi-chan. That song literally just came out of nowhere. The entire Harry Potter playthrough, she had been extremely excited at the prospect of learning Crucio and torturing people. But during a fucking loading screen, she just makes this wonderful song, complete improv, just, just out of nowhere, being able to recite the most disturbing lyrics in an incredibly cute voice. The Moe gap is real. Mi-chan can be an incredibly horny, wretched gremlin creature, screeching over her ideal sexual partner. She just makes the most unholy noises you can think of. She has the best taste in men and husbandos among all female VTubers. You can quote me on that one. The average female VTuber is just a completely moronic smooth brain with a fetish of 
useless, effeminate men who they want to fix. Who's your who's your favorite character? At who, the who moment, it's Miguel O'Hara. I really oh. like Miguel O'Hara from Spider Verse. I wanna I wanna lock him. So my deep responses. You now that you opened up this this can of worms. <laughs> Let me tell you okay. about Miguel O'Hara. So I'm a very big fan of Macho Man. Macho Man, creator Miguel O'Hara. Uh, I really like the best single uh, divorced fathers, you know? I want them not to make them better. I want to make them worse, because they'll never leave you afterwards. So imagine them locked in this basement. Mi-chan loves her men. She loves them strong, muscular, macho. And she often mentions her dream of creating an army of naked, muscled men. Okay, gentlemen, I present you, Chimpma. Ah! Holy shit! Oh! oh my goodness gracious! That's what I want to see when I go to heaven, God! <laughs> Fuck hell. And it's not just a great taste in men, she has a great taste in women as well. Oh, God forbid. Oh, I'm no better than a man. Jesus, forgive me. Calm down, it's a cartoon. Yeah, well, I want to fuck that cartoon. You calm down, yeah? Until then, I don't want to calm down. I want to fuck that woman. You know, with some of the noises that Tenma makes, it reminds me an awful lot of Rudius from Mishoko Tensei. <laughs> she sounds like a creepy, horny old man. Why are you acting like a horny, creepy old man? Because I am a horny, creepy old man. So she can turn the horny on from time to time, but she's not a Lootuber or a Kuma Bait type VTuber. Mi-chan likes what she likes and will share this with the chat in moderation. You know, never beating the fucking joke to death like quite a few VTubers do with the sex stuff. Despite being a horny lolly baba gremlin, she can be sometimes surprisingly shy and inexperienced with romantic relationships. <laughs> She's not a la creatura, she is the la creatura. Accept no substitutes. She has a bit of a temper and an extremely feisty personality. She does not give a shit about your frivolous western moralities. She knows what she likes and she is perfectly happy being the person she is, thank you very much. So if you want to give me Chan a piece of your mind, don't. If she wants your opinion, she'll ask for it. Unfortunately, she really does have quite serious anger issues and broke her, to be fair, already damaged controller whilst playing Shadow of the Colossus. Her reactions, generally speaking, can be quite intense, particularly if she gets caught by surprise by something, or for example the sudden not safe for work scenes which happened in the South Park games which caused many blood curdling screams. I fucking hate this! I fucking uh oh, I did an oopsie. The buttons, I can't move them anymore. I don't know why. Jesus Christ, Emma. <laughs> oh my god. Mi Chan has an amazing voice with great range. She can sound like a super kawaii anime girl from one of my Chinese cartoons, but she can also just sound like a completely miserable, pissed off chain-smoking Singaporean woman who's been at the reception of a massage parlor for the last 40 years. <laughs> oh yeah, she respects your mother, all right? <laughs> Whoa, holy shit. The CEO of Face Connect himself, Sakana the Fishman, thinks Mi-chan would be the perfect idol if only she kept her damn mouth shut. Dude, if Tenma doesn't talk, she's like the perfect idol. What? Yeah, she has like very good movement and the content she does, like everything's so good. Until she opens her mouth. Until she gets angry and Until then everything she gets is, angry. is done. If Tenma doesn't talk, she's the perfect... He said that now? Oh, oh no. But I heard you talking shit. What the fuck? <laughs> What is that supposed to mean? Oh, she's a perfect idol and she doesn't talk. The fuck? The fuck? Am I not idol enough, Sakura? Huh? You are. I'm you not are. Idol You're idol. perfect idol. I'm a perfect idol. Sakura, you're a perfect 
Sana san. I forgive but never forget. <laughs> Remember these words. Face Connect, the VTubing company where the CEO thinks you should just shut the fuck up. Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. So let's get into Mi Chan's dislikes and likes. If we start off with the dislikes, Mi Chan hates the blind. Oh, hi. Can I fucking. Did you see the look he gave me? What the f is your goddamn issue? Bitch! Tenma, that boy is blind. Wait, what? I did not know! <laughs> what do you mean the blind kid has better style than me? He doesn't even see it, so how would he know it? He doesn't even... Nah. Nah. Your argument invalid, no. Your argument... Your argument is as invalid as that blind kid! Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. Get out! <laughs> Mi-chan, you, you can't say that! Mi-chan really, really hates spiders and bugs. Oh, that scared me. She doesn't like fat people either. Uh. And the last thing that Tamma doesn't like is, of course, the beloved little yabbit Pipkin Pippa. I like Pippa so much. I want punch face. Understand feeling? What Mi Chan likes to do is she likes music, she likes art, she likes watching gameplay. She says she likes horror things, but she is also a complete pussy. You guys want to look for the house? <laughs> yeah. Tamma, you ready to be the main character? <laughs> And then you're a main character. Oh, don't sprint. <laughs> Aww. We need her to play Dead Space Remake immediately. Like any Japanese office worker, Mi-chan loves her alcohol. She even puts the Irish in the English to shame. They give you a card. Stupid, 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 stupid. Go right teacups now. I just I threw up already. They cut. <laughs> What's a war hero got to do? Get some lubrication around here. You know, this is a true story. I was actually in Disneyland at the exact same time Tanma was. <laughs> I think I've accidentally run into her in real life at some point. Woo! Jealous? You know, in spite of the hyperactive, raging, la creatura behaviour, Mi-chan is actually an incredibly sweet and gentle soul when she wants to be. This is a thing I've noticed with Phase Connect in general, but when you get most of them together, most of them, but not necessarily all of them, it feels like a group of friends, not a bunch of co-workers putting on a show together, if you see where I'm coming from. Face Connect isn't as big as Niji Sanji or Hololive, and both of those corporations have a much larger number of VTubers, so it's not possible for bonds and chemistry to build between all of them. With those corporations, you tend to get partners who team up on the regular, or you get kind of like group clicks. Michan gets along with everyone in phase, or at least it appears so, and when she isn't joking around trying to entertain the audience, she plays the role of big sister and looks after their well-being. I love Tenma's dynamics with Pippa and Aruka in particular, which I will cover later. But take a look at this tender moment between Pippa and Tenma so you can see what I mean. But, but please be bad on today. Maybe one hour stream and then rest, promise? Don't, don't push yourself. For your good health, okay? Yaksoka, oh, pyramids? Small finger pyramids? <laughs> finger promise. One guy? Yes. Go, go. Good girl, good girl, okay. Ah, I think that's quite precious. I have a soft spot for corporate VTubers who openly display a kind of leadership or mentorship kind of relationship with their co-workers. There's no real strict hierarchy as such in VTubing, but 
it adds to the whole experience really. Since VTubing is meant to be a digital imitation of Japanese idol culture, I think a big part of that illusion that is often overlooked is, you know, can I believe these people are actually really good friends in a team? Since Mi-chan and the Faze girls clearly know each other's behaviours, tastes and interests, I definitely can. I think FaZe and certain parts of Hololive and Niji Sanju do this quite well, but with Mi-chan in particular, I don't get any sense of, you know, jealousy, indifference or competitiveness. She's just simply having a great time, working really hard for everyone's sake and which is her fellow co-workers the best. So if we close in on who is Mi-chan, all jokes aside now, she is another VTuber I have quite a lot of respect for. Mi-chan is a character in a good way. She's got some aggression and spirit in her which I quite like. She's not afraid of the greater VTubing community. She's the captain of her own ship. She's great with her community and she seems like a wonderful friend and co-worker, genuinely caring for the well-being of her friends. She's not afraid to be who she is and say what she thinks. I think she very clearly puts others ahead of herself. Making an enjoyable experience for the chat is always at the forefront of her mind and she doesn't let the frustration or monotony of a stream actually get in the way of her performance. I mean, yeah, she can get, you know, angry from time to time, but there isn't really any like whining or sulking about it. She's just a true professional trying to get the job done and maintain discipline. I don't mind the streamer genuinely getting angry, annoyed or frustrated with hard encounters because it's going to happen, particularly when you play Dark Souls like games or other challenging things. But what sets Tenma apart from many others is that discipline to not bring the mood down. She's basically like an anti-Dark Side Phil. This is complete bullshit. Completely broken fucking bullshit. That was completely broken bullshit. You lack discipline. Mi-chan does not lack discipline. She spent seven hours straight trying to kill the two frog bosses in Star Wars. And you know what? She fucking did it with minimal fuss. Well done, Mi-chan. And last but not least, Tenma is a hag VTuber. <coughs> a joke on her fang base is to refer to her as Fertima to celebrate her being old. <coughs> Tenma is the greatest trucker in the state of Florida. She is licensed to drive trucks throughout all of North America. You see, Tenma herself is actually the person who personally delivers all your Faith Connect merchandise. Unfortunately, she's not very good at evading the police or, or following the traffic laws, which is why it takes so fucking long for your stuff to arrive from the Faith Connect store. Time to... What the fuck do you want? Back away, I'm gonna... Tonight, video showing a high-speed pursuit in Florida going from the interstate through the streets of Gainesville. The driver is mentally ill and potentially violent. I think Mi-chan is excellent at maximizing the potential of the VTubing apparatus to deliver a performance. I talk about this a lot and there are a few, if any, who do it as well as Mi-chan does. She uses so many different add-ons, toggles, gimmicks and themes for her streams. She's always got something new to fit the theme of whatever she's playing which is wonderful. She loves to play Barbie. Chibima is by far my favourite though. Honestly, I don't know what it is about this model but it elevates Mi-chan's performance from VTubing to something like Robot Chicken or Red Dwarf or, or Pingu or something. It's like a, a professionally produced surreal like TV comedy kind of thing. There's just something about this model that captures the gremlin and cartoon character aspects of Tema's performance so goddamn well and I love it. Should I be in the driver position? Wait, can we try something? Can we try something? I'm gonna do something. Giga brain. I'm actually very curious how it works. Matte, 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 matte. Champ, champ. I know you're in the back right now. I don't know how you got here. Do not worry. I got you. But regardless, remember, I got you. Okay? You trust me, don't ya? Anyway, we're gonna go do some driving. Don't worry about the ropes and the duct tape. It's just for your protection. I ran out of. Uh, 
The safety thing you put around when we drive. You know, we have to do what we have. We are in depth 70k. That's the fucking video right there, boys. Comedic genius. That has got to be one of the funniest and most intelligent displays of manipulating your VTuber model to create visual comedy right there. I would love to know if anyone else can think of examples where a VTuber has been able to pull off this magnificence. I love the psychotic, half-closed, crazy eyes she had going on there. It really feels like I'm being held hostage. I wish she would use this model as her main one. It just fits her so perfectly. I think for me, this is one of the funniest and most clever things I've ever seen a VTuber do. Also, can someone please tell me where she got this little chibi from? I really, really want one for myself. The other thing I really like about Mi-chan's performance here and just in general is that, you know, when she's doing a bit, she doesn't do it necessarily the way many North Americans tend to do it. Kind of what I mean by that is when North American types are pretending to be scary, you know, creepy or a bit of a psychopath, they tend to like really over exaggerate and ham it up, if not just like directly declare to the chat that, oh, look at me, I'm killing innocents or laughing like a crazy person and threatening people. Aren't I Menhera chat? Notice how Menhera I am. When Mi Chan is putting on a performance, it's played often completely straight, smooth, and natural. She's not desperate to get the chat to notice it, and it works extremely well because. Well, if you're doing the performance well, you don't need to figuratively put up a cue card that's like, laugh at me, I'm being crazy. The audience can see it and appreciate it. A wonderfully diverse variety streamer with her art, singing, gaming and events. Tenma has it all, and I genuinely do think she is the perfect idol, despite what Sakana says. Precisely because Tenma is every single idol archetype packaged together. She is the face of the group. She is also the big One Sama. She's the punk, the Sundere, and the miserable, bitter, passed over former face who is just too old and has had one too many cigarettes and bottles of vodka to keep up with the rest of the team. Ichan is incredibly creative. You can tell she's a very artistic person. In Tenma's thumbnails and visual comedy style, you can easily tell that her thought process, first and foremost, is how can I make this funny? Which I relate to very strongly, as you can probably tell with my love of meme intros and movies. Good job, Mi-chan. Well done. But seriously though, if you look at the typical VTuber thumbnails these days, it's all the same stuff. It's just blind adherence to the meta. It's usually a massive VTuber soy face, looking at the title card of a particular game or activity that they're doing with giant stenciled clickbait letters and big red arrows. You know, basically the shit I did for the pivot video. I'm going to showcase you some of me chance thumbnails. Let's take a look at the pro here. I'm not saying every single thumbnail that she makes is like incredibly out there and innovative and creative. It's obviously not. She does fall into the same kind of template thumbnail format from time to time but when she does put the effort in and she does do it every so often it is fantastic mi chan has done karaoke streams and also done backup for professional face connect song releases her taste in music for the karaoke streams are excellent featuring songs from my own personal favorite band breaking benjamin but she's also done songs from slipknot too <laughs> yeah slipknot <laughs> she sang duality from slipknot However, weirdly, when she sang it, she didn't quite get the lyrics right. Instead of saying, I push my fingers into my eyes, she said, I push my fingers into your eyes whilst looking at a picture of Pippa. Hmm, weird. Anyway, let's check bits of it out. But this is a very classic. <laughs> Maybe you know it. <laughs> Based. Bum, bum, bum. If I hurt you, I will put myself right beside you. So let me ask, would you like that? Would you like that? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Sorry, this is the probably the closest thing I could have given you to fan service for me, Chan. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, people. 
If the only thing that slowly stops the ache But it's made of all the things I have to take Just it never opens, it walks its way inside If the pain goes on Oh, come on, growl you pussy. If you want to watch the entire thing, I have linked it below in the sources. So yeah, have at it. But as you can tell, she is completely adorable. But let's also look at a serious attempt at singing when she did a duet with Aruka. I fucking love the trash bear, man. She's too good for Phase Connect. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. <laughs> I genuinely think that went pretty damn hard. I like it more than Pippa the Ripper. Do you see why I say that Face Connect punches well above its weight? You get these straight bangers from the so called ghetto holo live. In a couple years, we're going to be able to say we were there. Uh, maybe a bit of a hyperbole, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's also take a look at Mi-chan's various little toggles, tweaks and costumes to get in the theme of the stream. First off, we've got the little vampire Mi-chan, who is absolutely adorable. Realize you're out of money, no cash, no fun, do you? So do so what? <laughs> this is so easy as a female. <laughs> This is so easy! The world of the family! Of course, you've already seen the adorable little Harry Potter Tenma who has the scar scribbled on a piece of scrap paper and stuck to her head. We've also got La Creatura Gremlin Tenma, which is another fan favourite. She just started doing that for like three minutes. I don't know why, <laughs> but it's great. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a small thing really, but I do love how she goes through the extra effort and energy to get this stuff prepared when she really doesn't need to. You can tell that she really cares about this stuff and it's awesome. So next up, we're going to take a look at Mi-chan's lore video. She did the art and the animation for this herself, which is absolutely incredible. Not many VTubers actually do their own stuff as they commission it obviously her lore video is very interesting it's uh it's very japanese shall we say but i do really like it i think she's done a better job than quite a few dedicated lore commissioners honestly <laughs> Like seriously though, go watch the entire thing. I've linked it in the sources. It's it's really fucking good. I do genuinely think it's one of the better lore videos that I've seen out of any VTuber. It's definitely better than anyone else in Face Connect. <laughs> Oh, well, actually, no, maybe Sheena's is pretty good as well. Yeah, Sheena's a good rival for this one. But come on, seriously, who cares that much about a lore? Are you, are you going to stop watching a VTuber just because they have bad lore? There's so much about this lore video that I love. First of all, the art is fantastic. It's really beautiful. The style and aesthetic is perfect. It really captures that old Japanese painting feeling in some areas. 
It's cutely drawn and Mi Chan's voice acting is perfect. There's a lot of emotion in her voice and she's really portraying her sadness and desperation well. The animation is simplistic as even a professional studio trying to fully animate a 3 minute short would take for fucking ever to complete it, right? But Mi Chan has done an excellent job at maximising the effects with what she could do. Lots of quick cuts with new drawings. I've seen a lot of YouTuber lore videos and this is probably the first and only one that has actually captured me with the story itself. There's a few VTuber lore videos that I do like but often what grabs me is the music they use or the singing in the video. I'm not actually really grabbed by the story and the actual delivery of the lore itself. As is a general theme with Mi Chan, this lore video is both incredibly cute and quite amusing. The fact it isn't produced in a studio with excessive corporate oversight is probably why it resonates so well with me. You know, it doesn't feel like there was some business manager leaning over Tenma's shoulder going oh you need to include this and we need this and we need this it feels like you know it feels very natural that it's come from Tenma herself like it's her creation maybe someone can help me dissect what's going on here who is the great evil rabbit is it Pippa it's Pippa isn't it however I don't believe Tenma's shit I'm pretty sure she is the evil one in this scenario you know I get some Samurai Jack vibes out of it Long ago in a distant land, I, Tenma Mayumi, the shape-shifting La Creatura of Darkness, unleashed an unspeakable evil, but a foolish shit-posting 4chan rabbit stepped forth to oppose me. As you can probably tell from the video title, I think this tiny little gremlin fox is hilarious. Both her improvisational comedy and her written comedic abilities are unrivaled in my opinion. Mi-chan is also great at gathering fuel from her community to keep the stream going. She's very witty with a dry and sometimes sarcastic sense of humour. Credit is due for her community, the Kenpeki crew as well. I think they're one of the best communities in Phase Connect. They themselves are very witty and good at teasing Tenma, which she is able to capitalise on. <sighs> Breathe out. We shall get the hot beep. We shall not get angry. We shall not punch table. We shall not scream. Why are people giving me money to get angry? Don't worry, it's in my sack at this game, so you know what else you should suck on? My love and respect for this community, I'm... Do you recommend visiting your mom? I heard your mom is nice. Yeah, your mama is pretty nice in this season. Finally opening up for so many people to visit her tonight. Got him. In order to best view the comedic genius at work, let's take a look at some of her collaborations. I'm going to focus on Tenma and Pippa, Tenma and Aruka, and Tenma and Albino-san, as I think these are like the three iconic partners for Tenma. But I am also going to speak a little bit about the Henyon the Genius collab. As you can imagine, when you have two incredibly aggressive, feisty personalities with Tenma and Pippa, who are both complete psychopaths and very schizo, their partnership is incredibly chaotic. They can be very loud, aggressive, and may just start screaming at each other. I 
both of them are part of Phase Connect's first generation, so they've been together for a very long time and have fantastic chemistry. I find it hard to articulate the point here, but maybe you've noticed a bit with other VTubers too. When a lot of VTubers get angry with one another or annoyed and they're busting each other's chops over a video game, it usually feels like kind of stiff. You can tell they're clearly acting and it's almost like they're afraid of their audience, you know, genuinely mistaking them for hating one another. So they don't want to go too far to avoid misunderstandings. I mean, I've literally seen this in like Hololive and Niji Sanji chats and fan groups where something done clearly in good humour becomes lightning in a bottle and fans think they genuinely hate each other. So I guess it's for a good reason. These two don't give a shit because they're very comfortable with one another. Even if you don't like the rage gaming, I think you can at least appreciate two people having honest fun with one another. Oh, you're going through people's trash, huh? People, I would not touch your trash in a million miles by how many mugs you have there living, you piece of shit! You also get the sense of not just friends, but it's kind of like a sisterhood. They remind me a lot of being with my close friends as a teenager, giving each other a hard time and being a complete, you know, insulting, sarcastic menace, busting people's balls, but, you know, you love each other, really. So, I went to this stuff as cool as for Halloween for people. <laughs> What do you think of my cosplay? I'm pretty good, eh? Ah. Ah. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? But it probably expressed this cosplay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you're sick in the head, woman. I just wanted no, to you're love. Not. I wanted to fuck love. This is terrible. But come on, man. That's my first time cosplaying. The fuck? <laughs> Yeah, come on, Pippa. That was her first time cosplaying. The fuck? Rude. See, this is what I mean. The cheeky little shit dressed up as Pippa's husband, Cole Ress, for Halloween to get Pippa's love. I love the little comeback about not insulting her first cosplay. She's pretty good. It's good comedic timing. However, they don't just give each other a hard time and act like complete menaces towards one another. They do have more serious moments and tender moments. I think they're quite fond of one another. I'm so proud of Pippa Jones. She did so well. Yeah. This collabo. She was so nervous, but she interacted a lot with us. I was so proud of people. So. This collabo, in my opinion, I think she did well. And I want you all to tell her that and don't be pieces of shit <laughs> and say, Good job, people. You did well today. And they've had interesting streams where they just get drunk and talk about stuff, which is nice. Mutan, have you ever eaten butter before? Hey, people, chan we need to discuss this. I... I forgot to ask you. Did you throw up? Are you okay? Because I don't eat butter. Normal bite into it. I could not watch your stream. I could only watch 10, 10 minutes. And then when I hear you bite into it, I just wanted to throw up and leave. So I left. Because you, you made me sick. <laughs> Are you okay? No. No, Tenma. She isn't okay. And no, we don't want her fixed either. I think it's fair to say that Mi-chan is the boss in the relationship. Tamma would definitely fuck Pippa up despite the height difference. She does not take any of Pippa's shit and I love their dynamics when they're trying to accomplish an objective but Pippa is getting in Tenma's way talking about her conspiracy theory stuff. Well you're playing a game, Ari. They'll, they'll take control! <clears throat> Sorry, she's uh... She's right now muted. Thank you for asking. My coffee right now is cappuccino with two, with milk and sugar. She still continue talking, but I will unmute now. Ah, uh, nani? <coughs> anyway, Pippa-chan is mute again, so I have to ask you everyone, do you enjoy this game? I think this game fantastic fun. One second, she's still talking. Na nani, Pippa-chan? You hear about how the creator of Sonichu fucked his mother? And that, as much as anything else, led to my drinking problem. Thanks for bringing that up again, Pippa. I like the muting and unmuting Mi-chan did here. Again, she's pretty good with that comedic timing. Next up, we're going to take a look at Aruka-chan and Mi-chan. You know, originally when doing the research for this video, I'd rated Albino Tanma as probably my favourite ever collaboration that involved the VTuber. But as they only collaborate on occasions, I thought I liked Pippa and Tenma best in the group dynamics. You know, actually, I like Tenma Aruka more. This is brilliant, but I like this. 
a Ruka and Tenma are an interesting dynamic because you've got the cool, straight-laced say-so tomboy with the screeching, gremlin, lollibaba, hyperactive, middle-aged, horny, la criatura in Tenma. Basically, they're the exact opposite of one another, and it works really well. With Pippa and Tenma, it's like two best friends or two sisters of the same age who are always fighting and winding each other up. With Aruka and Tenma, it's more like Mi-chan being the lecherous big sister who's a little bit of a disappointment in the family, but she's corrupting the poor innocent Aruka-chan. I'm exaggerating. Wait, this is a whole different advice we all. I'm exaggerating. I'm exaggerating. I don't want to be punched. I'm just saying if I had to choose, I would rather be punched than punch someone. I would rather punch someone. I don't want to cause someone pain, you know? I would. Okay. They would like it. I want them to lick my fucking shoe. That's what I want. I want them okay. to be in pain and just kiss my shoe for forgiveness. That's what I would love to do. Oi! I see what you're doing there. Get your fucking hand out of your pants. Stop! I see you, motherfucker. I see your internet history. www.damburu.com. I fucking see it. You like someone who ties you up, Shibari? No. You like someone who is maybe S and you are M? I can't have a rational conversation right now. I cannot answer these questions. I'm gonna regret it when I wake up, Emma. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fine, you're correct. <laughs> Fine, and maybe you guess correctly. I knew it! The two of them also have wonderful chemistry. Instead of being aggressive, playful, like with Pippa Chan, Arukma is more positive and wholesome, playful. They're more of a mood, it's like a good vibe. You don't have, you, you can't say anything, Tema, you play Muse Dance with the Muse Dance. Blah, 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 blah. Huh? Huh? What you say? Make it fun of me! <laughs> what you say? I can't, I don't understand, Bear. Do you need head? I give you head. I... What? <laughs> head. <laughs> Thank you for the head. Hmm? <laughs> Why are you funny? Oh no. She doesn't know. <laughs> Um, uh, um, in English, giving, giving. <laughs> oh, I listen. You giving your head being something, um, uh, something else. <laughs> Don't tell her because she's still here. She's not pure. <laughs> She's the opposite of pure. It can also be very silly together. I love how Ruka normally takes everything so seriously and then Mi-chan, she just immediately rolls with anything crazy that happens. You've got poor Ruka sat there, probably like, what the fuck is happening right now? It reminds me a little bit of a buddy cop movie, you know, something like Rush Hour with Mi-chan as Chris Tucker and Ruka as Jackie. What? What? I know this one! Whoa! 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 There's so many! Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! Finally, I think this little bit here, which is from last month's Battle Brock stream, is probably one of my favorite ever like collaboration moments between two face connect talents. It's really funny and I think it really captures like the peak the peak hilarity when you've got these two together and they're just, you know, being really silly together. Love how over the years, Aruka has become progressively less say-so. A little bit. She has outright credited Mi-chan as being responsible for this increasing perversion over the years. In the last bunch of clips I showed you, they were from collaborations over a year ago and you can tell at the time how reserved Aruka was about sharing things. However, this more recent clip, you can see that particularly when collaborating with Tenma, Aruka is more confident with coming out with this stuff. I love frogs more than Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Tenma, baby. I wanna fuck <laughs> Tenma! I mean, no, no, Tenma! <laughs> Don't do that! You wanna oh. fuck Miguel oh. I mean, I oh. wanna fuck Miguel O'Hara! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh no. that sucks. That does suck. You know what else sucks? Oh. Me when I see Miguel O'Hara. <laughs> yes, that's you! <laughs> I love how Big Sister Tanma reacts to the monster she has created. Follow you, I, I love having someone watch me pee. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah? Would you like to... 
repeat for the rest of the people in this chat room for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I just said, um, I, I want a cat. And finally, let's take a look at Mi-chan and her collaborations with Albino-san. This is probably my favourite collaboration duo in VTubing history. These two are a perfect comedic duo. They bounce off each other very well. They're on the same wavelength. They've got the same sense of humour. And despite not knowing each other or all being co-workers, when they work together, it's like watching two people who have been friends for years and years. I just absolutely love it. But our old man has a wife and a family. Skillisher. Surprise, mother! Skill issue! Skill issue! Skill issue! Girl gives me a present. I'm getting mega laid tonight. I'm absolutely getting some crazy sick pussy tonight. Like that's the most insanely bright green light I've seen. I've heard of in my entire life. You spoke right now, like the biggest virgin I ever heard before. I'd say sorry first if you say sorry first. I'm sorry. I'm not. And then you're wondering why you're f***ing single when you can't even communicate with women on the internet, you f***ing virgin! F finish, should I? Okay. Yeah, no? well, are you, you're Korean, right? No. Are you Chinese? No, I don't know. Where are you from? From Norway. No way, my bad. Sorry, <laughs> I confused them. They all look the same to me. Just like... Yeah, okay, okay. Just like your you comment earlier. Just I'm like your f***ing comment earlier. Yeah. Just like the f***ing comment that. earlier, yes. okay? I've linked this highlight reel in the sources below. It's fucking amazing. You should really watch the entire thing if you haven't already. What I really like about Tenma's humour is that she really understands Western humour, which is pretty interesting. The Japanese have quite a different sense of humour than we do. Mi-chan understands the toxic gamer rage that we all love that isn't really that much of a thing in Japan. She also understands that in the West we quite like the racial, you know, nationality type humour, you know, where we laugh at foreigners and their weird ways. Throughout this entire exchange they were both incredibly quick and snapping back at each other and said some of the most <laughs> destructive, soul-destroying shit I've ever heard. I was like, god damn, throughout the entire stream. <laughs> I really like that Mi-chan doesn't participate in the whole male on stream bullshit. I completely understand and I do sympathise with female VTubers who don't want to deal with the hassle and drama male on streaming causes. I'm not sure if I would do it if I were a female personally, but there's no judgement here, right? The consequences and the volcanic eruption, a threat to the waifu causes really is something I really do feel sorry for these girls. I respect Mi-chan a lot for reaching out to a male streamer who is not a VTuber either. That's pretty cool. It's worked out extremely well. I think this is a huge opportunity being missed in VTuber groups as there are many potentially great male partnerships that could be formed. Sadly the borderline male exclusion with some VTubers or groups robs us of other iconic collaborations and partnerships. I do think it's becoming less of a problem these days but it is still there. If we quickly talk about the collaboration with Henya the Genius and V Shoujo, I don't really have that much to say about this one. From my point of view, I find the whole seriousness and excitement around this collaboration weird because while I see Phase Connect for the most part superior to V Shoujo, which will probably upset some of you. <laughs> However, I do fucking love Peak uh, Henya. I love Henya. Even if I try to think objectively, sure, V Shoujo has larger numbers, but in terms of talent and ability, I don't believe there is any VTuber corporation or indie out there who has any business thinking they're above the likes of Pippa, Tenma, or Shina and Managawa at the very least. However, yes, Mi-chan and Pippa managed to bag a collaboration with Henya and V Shoujo, and it went extremely well, as you would expect. Poor Pippa was very clearly very anxious about meeting an idol of hers, but thankfully, Big Sister Tenma was there to hold Pippa's hand and make sure that she didn't act a fool, which was nice. Also, Henya-chan, did you know Pippa-chan is a very big fan of you? <gasps> you are? You're gonna make things weird. No. Yes. You no, 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 are? No. E no. 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 Oh, what the hell? She sounded like Kirby taking a breath in for a second there. <laughs> This opportunity does go to show how well thought of and influential Mi-chan is in the greater VTubing sphere, that a key talent in a massively popular, more mainstreaming VTubing quasi-organisation approved this collaboration. I hope that this is a sign of Phase Connect, and especially the talents within it are getting the recognition they deserve. Without getting too off topic, I do think people like Aruka and Lumi Kanako are in the top 5% of VTubers in the English language sphere of VTubing and that they are all criminally underrated. 
people just don't know they exist which might seem shocking to those of us in the phase connector rabbit hole but i literally didn't know for example that prism project existed until a month ago so it does happen so last collaboration before we get into the closing of this segment i want to talk about ko and tenma's mom <laughs> you are not normal or normal in the head leave my mom alone I saw the clip. M Mama, wanna say hi? I love you. Bye. <laughs> you know what? Can I bring Tenma's mom into into my talk show? I would like to have a conversation when, with Tenma's mother. You're not normal. You're simple for my mother. Weird ass motherfucker. Leave my mom alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ko, that fucking face you made, man. I mean, I made the same one, if I'm being honest. Like, why the fuck the Japanese women sound so incredibly cute and sexy when they shout, Hi! in English. <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> God damn. But yeah, Michan seems great to collaborate with. It's never intimidating and she genuinely seems easy to get along with. She's got good charisma and a very high degree of emotional intelligence. Something seriously lacking in VTubing, which is full of like, you know, neurotic schizo weirdos. Like me! Now, get out of my teeth. To close off this segment, the thing I really like about Tamir's group performance is it's like completely devoid of the Minecraft collaboration energy. Like, do you know what I mean? The Minecraft collaboration energy? It's like, if you get two VTubers who are quite successful, but they've got like poor chemistry, different entertainment styles, and don't particularly work well together, probably don't actually like gaming all that much, or maybe they're just terrible at gaming, then what you do is you stick them together in a Minecraft game, and it's basically like three hours of direct questioning and answering between the two of them and maybe some long silences sometimes broken up with the occasional oh no there's a creeper and it blew up my house ah don't worry other vtuber i will save you ha 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 maybe being a bit unfair there as it's impossible for every collab you do to be a complete interesting banger but honestly i can't say i've ever seen me chan in the last two years pull off a bad collaboration i've almost watched every single one of them in preparation for this video too Tenma's fans are known as the Kampai Nikki. I don't really have too much to say about these guys. They're probably the most normal community in Phase Connect. They're like an ordinary streamer's chat. They're probably one of, if not the funnest, VTubing communities out there. They understand the Roshi extremely well, and they actually do a very good job at fueling the comedy and the pace of the stream itself. They essentially pay to make Tenma angry or funny. You could say that Tenma is basically a microtransaction VTuber. She's a, she's a gacha VTuber. Spend $10 on the Tenma gacha and hope she says or does something funny to you. You did nothing, Tenma. What do you mean? I got all, I got picture of ghosts. I got three <laughs> pictures of fingerprints. I was only one who actually went like crazy woman while everyone was playing with the television remote control. Get out, my child. Go to people's stream. Get out. I don't want to see your face. What's your name? Apple. Get out. Mi-chan, like all of Phase Connect, as I say again and again, is fantastic with her community. She's extremely active on the Twitters. She is constantly posting memes and trying to make her community laugh. She's stirring shit with the other Phase Connect talents and she's always reposting and liking fan art and other fan-made goodies. If you're looking for a streamer who regularly engages with the chat and notices your efforts on the Twitters, Mi-chan is a great choice. But that's not the only thing that the campaign Nikki like about Mi-chan. They also appreciate the incredible amount of work and effort she puts into her stream and also the fact that she is an incredibly sweet and precious little angel when she wants to be. The Kampai Nikki are, um, God bless them, they're probably held captive by poor Tanma against their will. Whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. <laughs> and for God's Shh, darling. Trust me. God's sake. It's for the best. Hey, please! <laughs> There's only one real controversy to speak about with Mi-chan, I believe, and it's about 
the wizard game. I've said pretty much everything I wanted to say about that in the Pippa video, but obviously if you do play Hogwarts Legacy, then you are Racismus, Misogynismus, Capitalus, Homophobus, Transphobus. Mechan played the wizard game first before Pippa did. She can't do that. Shoot her or something. And got Honestly, a minor amount of shit compared to Silver Veil and Pikami. Getting slightly a free pass. Probably because she's Japanese. Maybe it's because she was a relatively smaller channel at the time. I don't think she'd long hit 50k subscribers. Or maybe she was just too terrifying for them to handle. Just like Pippa, Tenma also got a huge boost from the Hogwarts Legacy stream and the notoriety that came with that. I would recommend you go watch her Hogwarts Legacy VODs because they are amazing, it's really really good, it's one of my favourite let's plays from a VTuber. However, the controversy this time around is what she said on Twitter. You think Pippa is the only based person in Phase Connect? Then read this. Holy fuck. <laughs> amazing. Unfortunately, she got some time in Twitter jail for this one, but she was back before you know it. <laughs> also, on a completely unrelated note, I just want to show you this tweet from the other day as well, so you can kind of get a, a bit more of a clue into the mind of Tenma Miami. I think Mi-chan is the face of Phase Connect because she best captures the spirit of Phase Connect. This isn't a competition, this isn't some kind of statement where I'm saying one person in Phase Connect is better than the others. I love all of them, except one. There's actually one person in Phase Connect I don't like, but that's a secret. <laughs> My personal Oshi is the Lemon Whore. The face of the company doesn't have to be its best or its biggest star. The face usually best represents the corporate culture or group identity of the organisation they're working for. I know for many people, especially my own subscribers, there's a massive amount of capipalists and herines who love Pippa Chan and basically only watch Pippa Chan. Pippa is also Phase Connect's biggest star, so for them, Pippa is pretty much their face, right? There is no real correct answer to this question. You could also argue that Sheena Amanagawa is the face of Phase Connect. If we're going to answer this question though, we have to have a look at, well, what is Phase Connect's corporate culture? For many people, it's basically like, well, it's being Manhera, unhinged and based, which is completely true, it is. But that's not everything. Like I said in my Pippa video, Sakana wants to have his cake and eat it. He does want the dangerous stuff, but he does also want Faith Connect to be a legit idol company. I do suspect he's secretly training and grooming Pippa to do the traditional idol stuff so she can transcend her current status. I think Faith Connect is an anti-idol company, kind of like the baby metal of VTube incorporations. A bit of an iffy comparison because baby metal isn't exactly based, but what separates baby metal from other Japanese idol groups is instead of it being disgusting J-pop with the bright colours and the love love moe, the well, you know, metal as fuck. They break the traditional mould of that culture. I think Mi-chan captures the spirit of Phase Connect best because she has a little bit of everything you can expect from Phase Connect's major content styles and represents all the VTubers in the group to some extent. Like if someone were to ask me, Morlington, what is Phase Connect and what can I expect from its VTubers, I'd point them towards Tenma because she can be an incredibly sweet, precious little thing, doing her art and singing. She can also be an unhinged Manhera, La Criatura, Goblin Menace, who is absolutely hilarious. Basically, Tenma is a character. I get the impression personally that this is a great character, and a VTuber who is both an idol and a slur-throwing shitlord from time to time, but she's also mostly much safer than poor Pippa, to the greater internet sensibilities. I'm not really pulling this out of my ass guys, I've actually done the sleuthing and infiltrating and despite there being so many of my fellow wonderful Kapipis and Harines, there are unfortunately people still who don't like Pippa or the community which is sad because I love you guys and I'm not just talking about the V-tweeters and some elements of the Reddit mentality but people who don't like Pippa tend to otherwise like Mi-chan. The other thing about Mi-chan is she gives me major leadership energy in the organisation because of her very gregarious personality 
personality. She's both charismatic, strong-willed, and will just slot in and get comfortable with strangers very easily. The Sad Girls Company has a lot of very shy and anxious people. I think Mi Chan is definitely prime leadership material. I fucking love Pippa to death. She's great and I think she's the future of VTubing and it's going to profit massively as the ways of normies come in and VTubing becomes more mainstream. Which will be kind of sad really, as sometimes gatekeeping in communities keeps them pure and awesome. But for me, I don't really get that impression from her. That is, like this is a VTuber or a character really. Like, do you know what I mean? Pippa is Pippa and I fucking love that. That's exactly what I want from her and she does it well. But I feel like she's like an old friend that is a regular streamer just using a virtual model. I'd be interested to know how you all perceive Pippa. I mean, at the end of the day, none of this shit really matters, right? I mean, who cares who the fuck a face of a company is, especially in VTubing? I just thought it was an interesting topic to think about and I'd be interested in knowing what you guys think as well. The thing I like about Mi-chan's comedy is that she isn't a Mr. Me-seeks style of comedian. I'm Mr. Me-seeks! Look at me! She delivers the goods and leaves it to you to pick it up. She's moving on. You can see that chimp-like brain of hers is always whirring. She's always looking for an opportunity to twist and convert something into humour and interesting commentary. She's always reacting to not just audio cues in games, but visual ones as well. She's always looking to chat itself to give her some fuel to say something funny. As I said before, I do think that Mi-chan's audience is usually the funniest, wittiest and one of the best communities in Phase Connect. They know how to get their lolly baba gremolin going and it's great. I think it's wonderful and quite fascinating with how she collaborates with other streamers, not even necessarily VTubers, right? She's always fishing for reactions and trying different methods to extract the maximum engagement. One minute she'll be like your shit stirring menace of a friend who gives you a hard time but it's funny. Then she'll be all sweet and vulnerable and give you the opportunity to give it straight back to her. Then she'll pretend to be sorry to reset the relations a bit before she gets you with another gotcha at your expense. Okay! Okay! Hi. The comedy by nature has a heavy focus on the improv and reactionary side. That's extremely difficult to pull off, probably the most difficult style of comedy to do. Like give me plenty of time, quiet and opportunity to plan things out and it's like sure I can make something funny. React instantly to something you weren't expecting, good luck with that. Most VTubers can't do this, missing many opportunities for a great one liner or a great bit that will create an eternal meme or legend to their character. Or they can fall completely flat and end up resorting to lowbrow dick jokes, sex jokes, or your mom jokes. I mean, it's not like Tenma doesn't do this either, but when she does do them, they tend to be quite creative. But she isn't the type to literally just scream the words sex or masturbate or cum at the top of her lungs over and over again. Or aggressively flirt and buy bait with fellow VTubers and do like the whole, you know, Hugh Grant thing with the blush stuttering where they're like, oh, 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 oh. If another VTuber did that to her, I can imagine her just immediately taking control of the situation and leaving the other side speechless and able to keep up. I mean, it's not like there's necessarily anything wrong with that stuff. I also enjoy homoerotic humour with my friends from time to time. And one of the common themes in VTubing humour is to go crazy and start like sniffing heavily over feet and laundry lying around. And yeah, sometimes that can get a chuckle out of me, but you know, really that stuff was funny like three times two years ago and it's low effort and people just beat it to fucking death and they can't really act it out well you know it's like okay guys the joke's dead now okay let's go let's let's move on sometimes you do get good comedic bits from collaborations in larger vtuber groups but it's usually accidental it's usually laughing at someone else's expense again it's like the easy haha i've closed the gate on you at the last second and i'm leaving you behind now or it can often be scripted or like the same old routine they've done 100 times before you can see with Mi-chan and the blind kid, or Crucio in the Harry Potter playthrough. She kept that going for like 40 hours, being able to twist things and keep it fresh with both the incredibly edgy invalid joke or the absolutely wonderful Crucio song. Another thing you can see with Tenma, like during a segment about her sexy naked breakdancing men, she knows very well what her memes are and what people think of her and she's able to summon highlights and infinitely clippable moments at command. And you want me to put on some naked men videos or some shit to see me actually act like a f***ing chimpanzee? Huh? 
You want that instead? Yeah, I can do that as well. She's very self-aware and understands what Weston is like, despite being Japanese. And what do we like? Well, we like racial and nationality-based humour. Mi-chan's English voice is just naturally hilarious. At least it is to me anyway. It's like the Morgan Freeman effect, but for comedy. Anything Mi-chan says just becomes 10 times funnier due to the way she says it. Now sometimes this is unintentional on her part, but you know, I do think that sometimes she is doing it deliberately. She has such incredible range and can make so many wonderful noises with her voice. I wouldn't be surprised if she could actually, you know, speak English in a voice much more, uh, you know, normal than what she currently does. She probably does it intentionally and puts it on quite a bit because because she knows we think it's hilarious. The other major part about Western humour that we tend to like is, well, just giving people a hard time and being a toxic but lovable piece of shit. She gives us this in abundance. It's not a Japanese way to behave at all. It's not completely devoid in Japanese gaming culture to behave like this, but it is very unusual. I've played with a lot of Japanese people on EVE Online and Final Fantasy XIV, and they are normally very well behaved and serious. So Mi-chan does understand what she's doing. It's not just her improvisational comedy and group dynamic humour that's incredibly astute. Her planning and creative ability is up there too. Her little uniform designs, model toggles and little skits of her model playing on the very small fox lady who can't see over the table are brilliant and super cute. You've got the little Harry Potter scar scribbled on some scrap paper. You've got like the hands on the table. You've got the meme thumbnails that are quite original. A lot of love and care have clearly gone into them and they aren't just the soy face looking at the total card thumbnails all the time that are the meta these days. You can really tell with Temma that everything she does has a tremendous amount of passion and thought put into into it. She really is a professional and puts the various skills she has to great use since she is an artist after all. That is the kind of attitude I would expect from one I guess. To be fair, quite a lot of VTubers, whether they be big in the likes of Hololive and Niji Sanji, or on the smaller side like Idol, English Language Division, particularly Rin Penrose, do also put a lot of effort into their thumbnails and the minor details. I think what separates Temma from the rest of them and makes her one of the best comedians is, well, all the others, despite their hard work, are still making, you know, very meta type thumbnails and they're really playing to the traditional this is how I should behave because I'm a VTuber kind of archetype. They're almost too clean and well done in what they do sometimes. In Temma's thumbnails and visual comedy style you can easily tell that her thought process first and foremost is how can I make this funny? Which I relate to very strongly as you can tell with my love of the meme intros and movies. Good job Temma. I think we all notice all the extra little details you put into things when you really don't need to. All these reasons and more that I've probably forgotten are why I think Mi-chan is VTubing's greatest comedic genius. Nobody does it better. The cream of the crop! Nobody does it better. After this video will be Lumi Kaneko, and then after Lumi comes Ashley Arinko. Thank you very much for your support as always guys. Bye bye.